Hello investors and traders, today I'll speak about best dividend stocks uh, to buy right now. I'll speak about dividends, about three nice uh, companies uh, that may pay you a nice and uh, very significant uh, uh, passive income. So let's start with the first company for today, it's M company, uh, MMM is a producer manufacturing uh, uh, segment so let so let me tell a few words about this company so uh, this company produces over 60,000 products under several brands including uh, uh, adhesive subserves, uh, laminates, uh, passive fire protection, personal protective equipment, window films, paint protection films uh, dental and uh, orthodontic products, electrical and electronic connecting and insulating materials, medical products, and etc. So this company is very, uh, it's a huge company, market cap is uh, more than 50 billion bucks. Uh, let me uh, tell you a few words about uh, its uh, performance. We see the revenue for the last five years is very stable and the marginality also very close to 60 60 60 uh, percent net income margin also let's uh, move to my uh, personal custom uh, stock uh, stock research uh, list so here i see this company 3m uh, it's down more than 13 percent since the beginning of the year it was a loss last quarter that's why it's uh, here in red but ps price per revenue is now 1.7 and uh, in my mind, the, the fair value is uh, supposed to be uh, supposed to be a little bit uh, higher. There is no any problems with uh, current liabilities. Uh, we see the current ratio is uh, higher than one. Also, the dividend, of course, the dividend. And the dividend now is very close to six percent. The payout about fifty percent. And also, for the last three years, the company. Uh, show a nice uh, dividend grow about six percent and please pay attention to the dividend history increasement it's 12 uh, 12 percent so generally speaking it's a discount and uh, company for now 3m company also we can see that now uh, 3m today is uh, this company is up more than five percent it was a nice uh, and positive uh, 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 news uh, about uh, about this company uh, let me let me find it here what we see it's a positive ah the 3m agrees to pay more than 5.5 uh, billion settlement or military uh, but it's a positive sign for investors uh, for uh, uh, investors in this company because it's expected to be if I'm not mistaken about 15 16 billion bucks now it's only five so positive information for Hermes. So let's uh, have a look on the chart. So here uh, using uh, Elliott wave analysis in my mind, it was uh, impulse here, the first wave, uh, the second, the third, the fourth correctional one and the fifth. So here the impulse finished, by the way, the third uh, usually is the largest wave in the impulse. It's here, uh, it's very organic. And we, if you look closer on the third wave, it uh, also can combine the first with the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So the probability on such uh, uh, drawing is uh, a little bit elevated. And now in my mind we are in a correction. So it can be uh, wave A, B, and C. So here I'm expecting to see the wave B bounce from here and uh, then another move down. But anyway, this move can uh, I give you about maybe 50 60 percent up so anyway the dividend yield six percent uh, grow potential and also let's uh, have a look on the valuation for the last uh, i guess six uh, years it's the lowest uh, valuation uh, the price per revenue is about two so it's really very very cheap and also from its high levels we can see that it's uh, a correction uh, more than uh, uh, 50, more than fi about 50 percent. So you can buy a nice, um, in my mind, a strong, uh, strong uh, manufacturer producer with a discount 50 percent. For me, it's very attractive and interesting. 
So let's uh, move to the next uh, stock for today. It's Valero, Valero Energy. It's a company from oil and gas sector. If you look at the chart here, it's the trend line since 2000, from, since the uh, pandemic uh, pandemic lows. So now we just uh, traded in this uh, increasing trend. So it's before, still it not, uh, before it uh, not broken, I can say that uh, we can uh, just uh, trade in this uh, in this uptrend. That's why I'm uh, considering to buy to buy this stock very closely. Dividend yield is more than three percent. Let's have a look on the fundamental parameters of Valero. The market cap 45 billion bucks. Uh, PE of four. PS is very cheap. The valuation really very very cheap. The average for S&P 500 is now. Uh, 15 it's very very cheap stock it's positive the it's profitable uh, company and any problems with that look that that to EBITDA ratio very low interest coverage very strong so for me any questions any problems with that by the way uh, look it's continued to grow the EPS earning per uh, share for the last five years payout also very low so I guess the company here may uh, increase the dividend payments and uh, the three-year dividend growth rate is about uh, 3%. So in my mind, Valero, it's a nice company also to consider. Oil and gas company, uh, or refining uh, company. If we look, uh, let me look a little bit uh, closer uh, here. We see that the revenue it was 40, now it's 34, but the marginality it was 6, now it's, uh, yeah, yeah, but it's still profitable company, look, 6% and income 7, 8, 5, anyway, anyway, the company for the last uh, 5 quarters continue to be profitable, and for me, of course, it's a positive side, and as I told you previously, any problems with that at all for this company, that's why another reason that uh, Valero Energy with the ticker VLOO uh, I am considering for this uh, dividend period. And let's uh, have a look on the last uh, company for today. It's UPS. It's a company from transportation uh, segment. So look here. The dividend yield is uh, very close to 4%. Uh, last uh, three years it traded in the range, range between 156, 58 bucks to 2021. 20, uh, now we're closer to the lower border of this range. By the way, on the weekly time frame on the rest side, the momentum indicator we are uh, 43, so it's a sign that it may, it may, it uh, very close to be oversold and also. Uh, let's have a look on the fundamental uh, parameter. So UPS, the market cap is more than 100 billion bucks. Actually, it's the largest uh, company in our research today. The PE ratio, price per earning, is uh, 14. PS one, uh, one and five. The fair PS in my mind is supposed to be 2.6. So it's uh, a cheap stock for now. It's the most profitable company. The income margin. Uh, more than 10%. Uh, any problems with that, by the way? Look, the Altman Z score is it's a complex uh, parameter showing the profitability of default in the future years. If it's two or three, any problems with uh, that, with leverage at all, here it uh, more than four. So, also uh, very uh, fun uh, positive fundamental view in my mind. Payout uh, about 50%, it's actually very low. And look, the dividend paying history, it's uh, telling us that we have 14 years of uh, dividend increment. And of course, of course, it's also a nice and positive sign for me. So generally speaking, UPS also uh, uh, can be a company to consider, a company to add uh, to your uh, dividend portfolio. I remind you that now I'm in the process of constructing a dividend portfolio for the next year. That's uh, why I'm uh, looking for uh, hunting from dividend stocks, dividend companies, some research and dividend history, payouts, uh, uh, possibility to pay dividends. And of course, of course, uh, for me, dividends and uh, stable cash flow, it's very important. So uh, now I'm just uh, 
uh, starting to constructing uh, construct it for the next year and of course I will sh share it for you I guess it uh, will be healthy will be healthy and uh, helpful for you this year my performance is uh, more than 20 percent I'm very glad it's uh, very nice and good uh, year for me and I hope in the next year it uh, will be also also very very fruitful uh, for me so if you like my videos if you like my channel see if you like is uh, if you like in, in interested in the stock market analysis so of course uh, press the like button uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, see you on the next time bye